All right. Hey, Devin. I've been binge watching crime documentaries. And now I'm convinced every minor inconvenience in my life is part of a secret conspiracy. My neighbor's dog barks at weird hours. Definitely a spy. The barista spells my name wrong. Clearly, they're in on it. How do I stop turning my life into a detective novel? Well, your life is a detective novel because it is. This is true. This is 100% true. Everybody's watching you. The government's got it taps on your phone. Um, they are coming for you. I'm convinced of this. I think this is real. I think people are watching you. People want to know what you're going, what they, they know all your bank account information. They know everything there is. I think they are literally coming after you. So you probably need to run and hide. I didn't help you, did I? Well, the only way to do that, if, if this stuff is actually concerns you, stop listening to it. Stop watching it. I mean, you're going to always notice the things that are going on around you, but not everything. Uh, well, I'll say it this way. Not everything in life is about you. Let's don't make this, in, let's don't turn yourself into the biggest narcissist out there, especially if it's telling you to make wrong turns. Because GPS these days, they don't, they, I would say they're, the, the flaw in them is very minor. They're not going to send you down the wrong, uh, down the wrong roads. I mean, as far as like going the wrong way. So what you say was the wrong direction, then you probably knew where you're going. So that I find weird. The fact that you were using GPS, even though you knew where you were going. So yes, that was, I would call that 100% weird. So risk the risk come clean and risk the eternal embarrassment because this will book give both you and your mom something cool to, to honestly have a good inside joke about, especially if it's super, super embarrassing. You should send me the meme and let me, uh, let me see what I think about it. I'll show my wife. Probably won't show my kids, but I'll, probably show, I'll show my wife. Yeah. Don't, I mean, honestly, don't worry about it. She's your mom. She loves you. And, and honestly, she's probably said and done things that would embarrass you more so tenfold. So don't worry. It's okay. I mean, it, it, I'll say it this way. She's done things with your father that were probably enough to embarrass you more than anything else. That's kind of how you got here too. So guess what? I'm pretty sure she knows more about things than you think you give her credit for. We tend to only want to be perfect in front of the people we like the most. And honestly, it's the imperfections that most people remember the most and that they like the most about people. You know, it, when you're when you're going on a date and you try to make the date that's the most amazing thing ever and you think that, the, you know, you got to work, do this one thing, do this other thing. Okay, here's the deal. Go watch the movie. Um, uh, Will Smith is in it. It is called, man, what is that movie? Um, where he's the date doctor. What is that movie? I can't remember the name of it. Um, Hitch, I think it is. Yes, it is Hitch. Go watch the movie Hitch. That's the advice I'm going to give you. I'm going to tell you, go watch the movie Hitch. Learn from the movie Hitch because honestly, the, that is, the true thing about that movie is the fact that people would go in and it's the little things, it's the embarrassing things that the person, especially if you have a crush on this person, it's the embarrassing things that the, that, that person's going that you think is embarrassing that they probably like the most about you.